Project 11B. Draw venous blood using a syringe and needle. Before starting this phlebotomy procedure, first greet the patient and introduce yourself. Pause to confirm that you have positively identified the correct patient and that you are performing the correct procedure. Second, ask the patient questions regarding possible allergies, bleeding disorders, etc., and ensure that your patient is in a comfortable and suitable position for the procedure. Third, verify relevant information like fasting, dietary restrictions, and medication, and note the answers on the lab requisition form. Now, follow these steps. Open a clean work surface cover, then gather, open, and assemble the relevant items and equipment on the cover. Set all of the tubes you need by order of the draw. Attach either the AutoSafe Reflex Safety Needle or a regular needle to a 5 or 10 milliliter syringe. The amount of blood that you need to fill all the blood collection tubes will dictate the size of the syringe. Perform hand hygiene. Select the site by inspection and palpation, preferably at the cubital area. Temporarily apply a tourniquet to facilitate vein selection if necessary. When ready to draw the blood, apply the tourniquet about four to five finger widths above the selected venipuncture site. Ask the patient to form a fist to make the veins more prominent. Don't ask the patient to pump the fist. Don clean, non-sterile gloves. Disinfect the site using an alcohol prep swab for 30 seconds. Allow it to dry completely for another 30 seconds. Do not touch the site once the alcohol has been applied. Anchor the vein by holding the patient's arm and placing the thumb of the opposite hand below the venipuncture site. Do not bend the needle. Ensure that the bevel of the needle is pointing up. Enter the vein swiftly at a 15 degree to 30 degree angle. Hold to stabilize the barrel of the syringe and gently withdraw the plunger to fill the syringe with the required amount of blood. Once sufficient blood has been collected, ask the patient to relax the fist and then release the tourniquet before withdrawing the needle. Gently withdraw the needle and place a clean gauze pad or dry cotton wool ball with strapping to the site. Apply firm pressure to achieve hemostasis and avoid a hematoma. Inspect the site after two or three minutes to ensure that the bleeding has stopped. Use a safety transfer device, not included in the kit, to transfer blood from a syringe to the blood collection tubes. If the tube used has additives, mix the contents by gently inverting the tube five to eight times. Do not shake. Fill remaining tubes and repeat the mixing routine after each tube has been filled. Discard sharps, the used needles, broken glass, and syringe or blood sampling device into a puncture-resistant sharps container. Place items such as used gloves and all items contaminated with blood or body fluids into the infectious waste. Check labels and forms for accuracy. Perform hand hygiene. View a clinical example of this procedure. You may notice slight differences in the procedural steps due to individual preference or variation in protocol. Are you ready to start practicing this skill? Go ahead, use your venipuncture trainer for this purpose and have fun.